What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel in another video. Today, I have a whole bunch of extra paints left over and I can't waste them. I'm not gonna let them dry out. And there's not enough really to store them for an extended period of time because the silk gun's already mixed in them. So we're gonna use them. We're gonna do a cool little flip cup, taking it back to basics a little bit, help some of our newer acrylic pouring artists on their journey. So we have the same color palette. You might not be able to see some of these, titanium white, thalo blue, cerulean blue, sky blue, silver, magenta, violet. We're gonna do a black base again, because I really like the way the last one came out with the black base. So just a little bit of black on the canvas. I'm gonna start layering this cup. And let's do this. How's everybody doing today? Yeah, you, I'm talking to you. How are you doing today? I hope you're doing amazing from me to you. I hope your day today is going fantastic. And if it's not fantastic right now, I hope throughout the course of this video, it gets better at least. But I'm over here having a great day, just painting my heart out. <laughs> so as you see, I'm not really doing much with how I'm layering the colors. I'm kind of just willy nilly putting colors in the cup trying to help illustrate a little bit of, you know, not a whole lot of thought, just be free. Lay the paints down how you want to. Use the colors that you want to use and just enjoy yourself. I am noticing some of you guys in the comments, you're getting really frustrated with certain techniques. And a lot of the times when I was getting frustrated with certain techniques, I would just take a step back, kind of Maybe try a different technique, maybe something I don't even think I'm gonna like. Because if it's a technique that you have never tried before, you might actually like it. Now I'll have one caveat to that. If the technique you're, tr you're wanting to try is the bloom technique and you've never done it before, the bloom technique is completely different. It requires a whole bunch of different materials. The thicknesses of the paints are very, very different. So if that's the, the way you're trying to step out, I would say before you purchase any materials, please do a lot of research on it. I have a bloom recipe guide um, on this channel. If you just look up JMO bloom recipe, it should pick it up. But that is also, in addition to it being very expensive and difficult to do, it is also just, it's a pain, you guys. I agree, the art that you can make with it is stunning. But you're gonna end up probably spending a lot more money than you're used to to get all the components you need to make it. So it's just a warning for you guys. I would love you guys to step out and try new things but I don't want you to go out there and try to buy all this stuff and then get disappointed again. But I figured I'd just let you know that. I don't want anybody, there's no reason that anybody should get frustrated while they're trying to make art. And trust me, I was there with you guys. I bought all kinds of materials when I first saw it and I wanted to try it and I thought it'd be cool. And it ended up that it was expensive very expensive. I was not prepared for as expensive as it was. All right. So let's flip this bad boy over. Not that big of a splat. And that's okay. We don't need big splats. The cup was also not full either, so. Let me put some of this in the corners. The paint always has a hard time flowing to the corners. So if you add a little bit of paint to your corners or take some of the paint that's already on the canvas like I'm gonna have to do and kind of just move it towards the corner just a little. Because those are the hardest parts to get coverage. So when I flip that cup, it's gonna push all this black out by the sides everywhere. Corners are the hardest part to get coverage on. And 
with this. I think we're ready, you guys. I mean, I don't know if you can already see, but we got some really cool cells already just popping up. All right, let's flip her over. Oh, wow, you guys. As you see, I'm using some of the excess paint to drizzle it in the corners. Because I know whatever's over there isn't going to stay. All right, so torch or heat gun? I think torch. I'll make a bunch of cells everywhere. Look at those cells like just exploding. That's so crazy. Now, when I do the torch, then I typically want to spin quickly because those cells are going to continue to grow and push into each other and distort each other. So I'm going to give it a nice light spin. Nice light spin. So we have some areas that are just really, really packed with beautiful little cells and some areas that don't, which is okay. It actually adds to the look, I think. And with that little gentle spin there, we have it. It almost looks like a swipe already on some areas. And that's really cool. And I like this. There's still a couple bubbles, so I'm gonna take my heat gun now. It's a lot more control. And see if we can maybe pop some heat, or pop some of these bubbles. Like I already know it's gonna create more cells, but it's not gonna do it as fast as the torch did. working on it trying to pop these little bubbles here you guys go that going over some of these areas that maybe i want a little bit more um life in a little bit more cells just trying to bring a little bit of that color help it punch through the surface just a little that silver is really cool I can't wait for you guys to see it up close, but there's like really nice, beautiful spots of like silver poking through, almost like like liquid metal in the background of this thing. It's really, really beautiful. Well, heck guys, that was a quick one, but an easy one. And it came out absolutely beautiful. So I'm gonna give it a couple minutes. I'm gonna let the cells grow to the point where they don't grow anymore. So hopefully when we see it wet and dry, it looks the same. Let me get you guys down here and we'll check it out. All right, this one has some really cool dynamic looking color changes going on within it. And the little tiny cells actually kind of accentuate this really well. Really deep magenta violets coming through the center very happy with this one it's really cool to see the difference between the two and the two different techniques one being just the flip cup and then the waterfall open cup this one has some really interesting things going on with the magentas and the very light blues but yeah just to see the difference it's crazy, all the same colors, just a different technique. If you want to watch another video just like this, click the screen right now and I'll see you there.